Francis D., a notable figure in classic Hollywood, has left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Whether reminiscing about the first cinematic encounter with this iconic actress or uncovering lesser-known anecdotes, her contributions to the industry remain ingrained in the memories of many. Beyond the spotlight, what personal experiences or cherished memories do you hold dear in connection to this classic Hollywood actor? Share your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your narratives add depth to the legacy of a performer whose impact transcends time. Frances D., a notable actress, met her future husband Joel Macria on the set of The Silver Chord in 1933. Macria, captivated by her performance in An American Tragedy, specifically requested her presence in his movie. Despite Dee initially dating co-star Eric Linden during filming, her romantic involvement with Macria began after the movie wrapped up, marking the start of a significant relationship that ultimately led her to sign with RKO Pictures. The enduring nature of Dee's relationship with Joel Macria is highlighted by his passing on their 57th wedding anniversary. This poignant event adds a touching dimension to her personal life, underscoring the depth of their connection. In recognition of her contributions to the entertainment industry, Frances Dee was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame at 7080 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California on February 1, 1994. This accolade solidifies her lasting impact on the world of cinema. Frances Dee's career and personal life intertwine, shaping a narrative that reflects both professional success and enduring love. The enduring legacy of her Hollywood Walk of Fame star stands as a testament to her lasting influence in the film industry. Frances D., celebrated actress of Hollywood's golden era, left an indelible mark on both the silver screen and her personal life. Notably, she played a pivotal role in shaping the industry's moral landscape during the 1930s, as highlighted by her significant presence at the 1998 Memphis Film Festival in Tunica. This biographer Andrew Wendink emphasized Dee's resurgence in the 1990s, attributing it to her roles in films that influenced the adoption of a Hollywood moral code. Beyond her cinematic impact, Dee's family life with husband Joel McCrea is noteworthy. The couple had three sons, namely Jody, David, and Peter. A fascinating connection arises as Peter McCrea, the youngest son, married Courtney Lemon, daughter of legendary actor Jack Lemon, on March 24, 2001. This interlinking of Hollywood legacies adds a unique dimension to Frances Dee's family history. Tragically, Frances Dee passed away in Connecticut while staying with her son Peter, bringing a poignant end to a life marked by cinematic brilliance and familial connections. Through her enduring contributions to film and the influence she wielded in shaping Hollywood's moral landscape, Frances D. remains an icon, leaving an impactful legacy that transcends generations. Frances D., renowned for her contributions to Hollywood, faced a pivotal moment in 1939 when she had a screen test for the role of Melanie Hamilton in Gone with the Wind. Interestingly, George Cukor initially favored her for the role of Scarlett O'Hara. However, David O. Selznick ultimately deemed her too similar in beauty to Vivian Lee, leading to Olivia de Havilland securing the role. In 1943, Frances D. took on the role in I Walked with a Zombie not just for her acting prowess, but with a purpose. She used her salary from the film to buy a new automobile for her mother, showcasing a blend of familial responsibility and professional commitment. Moving ahead to 1995, D.'s philanthropic side shone through. She donated 220 acres of her Thousand Oaks Ranch to the Canijo Recreation and Park District, adding to the 75 acres given in 1981 with her husband Joel McCrea. This act of generosity left a lasting mark beyond the silver screen, contributing to the preservation of Parkland for future generations. These lesser-known facets of Frances Dee's life reveal a multifaceted personality beyond her on-screen roles. From Hollywood's casting decisions to personal acts of kindness and civic contributions, Frances Dee's legacy extends far beyond the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Frances Dee, a notable Hollywood figure, first discovered her passion for acting when she landed the lead role in a senior play at Hyde Park High School. This early experience sparked a lifelong career in the entertainment industry. Alongside her cinematic achievements, Frances had a familial connection to the world of film, being the sister of Margaret Dee. The siblings shared the screen in the 1935 film Becky Sharp, showcasing their on-screen chemistry. As Frances' career unfolded, she not only left a lasting impact on Hollywood, but also became a grandmother to Wyatt McCrea, extending her influence to future generations. 
This familial connection adds a personal dimension to her legacy, showcasing a continuity of talent within the McCrea family. Frances Dee's journey from high school plays to Hollywood stardom, coupled with her familial ties, paints a comprehensive picture of a woman whose influence transcended her on-screen presence. Her legacy, carried forward by relatives like Wyatt McCrea, cements her enduring contribution to the world of cinema. Born in Los Angeles, Frances Dee, often associated with Hollywood's golden era, faced a childhood marked by geographical shifts. Alongside her older sister Margaret, born in 1908, she moved from Los Angeles to Cincinnati, then to Washington, D.C., before settling in Chicago's Hyde Park. Their formative years saw them attending Shakespeare Grammar School. Frances' journey into the world of acting began at the University of Chicago, where she actively participated in dramatic activities. Her early exposure to the stage set the foundation for a lifelong career in the entertainment industry. Despite misinformation surrounding her birth year, often wrongly reported as 97, Frances Dee's contributions to Hollywood are undeniable. Beyond her on-screen presence, she shared the limelight with her sister Margaret in the 1935 film Becky Sharp, showcasing a familial bond that extended to the silver screen. Frances Dee's legacy transcends generations, with her influence reaching her grandson Wyatt McCrea. From her humble beginnings to Hollywood stardom, her journey paints a comprehensive picture of a woman whose impact on cinema endures, carried forward by her relatives. In 1935, Frances Dee faced a challenging period in her marriage to Joel McCrea. The couple briefly separated, only to reconcile soon after. However, their relationship hit another rough patch in 1966, when McCrea filed for divorce, citing cruelty. Despite this, the couple chose to remain married until McCrea's death, showcasing a resilient bond that endured through ups and downs. This tumultuous chapter in Dee's personal life provides a glimpse into the complexities that often accompany fame and relationships. The public scrutiny of celebrity unions, coupled with the private struggles faced by Dee and McCrea, adds a layer of depth to their enduring commitment. Beyond the silver screen, Frances Dee's life was marked by a narrative of resilience, commitment, and the ability to weather storms in the pursuit of lasting connections. Her story reflects the challenges faced by many in the limelight, where personal trials often remain hidden behind the glamour of Hollywood. As we delve into Frances Dee's journey, we uncover not just a celebrated actress, but a woman who navigated the intricacies of love and loyalty in the public eye. The enduring nature of her marriage to Joel McCrea, despite its rocky moments, speaks volumes about the strength of their connection. Frances Dee's life story is a testament to the resilience required to navigate the complexities of both personal relationships and a career in the spotlight. Her ability to weather storms and stand by her husband until the end is a compelling aspect of her legacy, one that transcends the roles she played on the silver screen. As we draw the curtains on this cinematic journey, take a moment to bask in the timeless allure of a talent that transcends eras. The silver screen has witnessed the grace and finesse of an actress whose performances etched themselves into the very fabric of our memories. Whether she graced the screen with the charm of a bygone era or infused it with the vitality of contemporary narratives, there is a lingering magic in each frame. As we bid adieu to this narrative, let the echoes of Frances Dee's artistry resonate within you. Now, dear reader, let your thoughts unfurl like scenes from a cherished film reel. Reflect on the moments when her on-screen presence left an indelible mark on your soul. Was it the subtlety of her expressions or the way she breathed life into diverse characters? Share your musings, let the dialogue of appreciation unfold. In the grand tapestry of entertainment, Frances D. remains a luminous thread, weaving stories that connect us across time. Your memories and reflections are the threads that bind us further, forming a rich tapestry of shared experiences. In the quiet space between scenes, your voice becomes part of the narrative. So, as we wrap up this chapter, we extend our heartfelt gratitude for your time and engagement. Thank you for being part of this exploration into the cinematic legacy shaped by an extraordinary artist. Until the lights dim and the credits roll on the next captivating tale, appreciate the echoes of Francis D's impact on the world of entertainment. Your presence here, your thoughts shared, make this journey all the more meaningful.